Tidai Herbal. Welcome to beautiful Hawaii, where the sun is always shining and it's always beautiful. So, you know, we've been having to wear these masks, you know. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> All right. There's no more normal, so what is crazy? Besides, I'm an artist, man. Every artist has a touch of insanity. That's my excuse. Okay, uh, today we're going to do something really fun and fabulous, like we always do. We're going to do uh, the face. Let me grab this thing. Not, we're, we're not going to do exactly like this one, but we are going to do a green one. And we're going to make it look like Gumby. You can't really make it look like Gumby. You know, it's kind of copyright infringement. But we can make it look close enough. Get the gist. So, as I always say, nobody taught me how to tie dye. It's all been God gifted from birth that I was able to do any kind of art. But I chose tie dye because tie dye is so cool. It's so colorful. It represents a piece of America, uh, the rem remnants of uh, the 60s and 70s. It's kind of like Harley Davidson, Levi's. People go, oh, well, tie dye's back in style. I go, man, it never left style. It's always been in style. As soon as it started, it started way back when. People have been dyeing clothes for a long time, but in the fashion that we do it now, it's kind of it was created in the 60s and 70s. So it's kind of like part of American culture, you know. So I'm glad everybody's helping it relive and kindle it, you know. It's gonna go on past my ears. This is gonna be great to know that I got to teach a lot of things that nobody ever thought of before. And I'll be long gone, man, and people will still be able to share the enjoyment and the beauty of it. I know I get a little bit long-winded in speech, but I think it's really important to really emphasize how much to share. Uh, it's not that difficult to share. It, 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 the stuff that we have is just only 10% matter, and it really doesn't matter anyways. Unless you share it, then it becomes priceless. Okay? So let's go on and we're gonna go make make some faces. Come on. Sodash. See, Sodash, people are confused. Okay, Sodash is very important for tie dyeing if you want it to be bright and vibrant. No matter what other kind of solution they want to sell you, or any kind of little additive, it's the Sodash that brings up the, the, the brightness and the intensity of the dye. Oh, baby, baby Paley wants to say hi. Look how big she's getting. Say hi, baby Paley. She's tired of hugging me. She pushes off. Like, oh, no more hugs. <laughs> All right, so. Um, yeah, the soda ash brings up the pH in the water. It's very important so the pH is really high. Some people have uh, pool kit test, test kits and stuff so they can test the pH, you know. pH is very important to, to a lot of things. The plants, and us, females, huge, huge. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, enough of the science class. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pull it out of the soda ash. I recommend you guys wear gloves just because I don't. Um, I've been doing it a long time and some people may be really sensitive to a lot of this stuff. I know a lot of the containers they send from dharmatradingcompany.com, that's where I get the dyes. Where a lot of the containers say in the state of California this product's known to cause cancer. Well they got that on everything in California just to cover their butts. But um, in reality, 
everything can harm you or it can do you good. It's your choice, okay? So wear gloves just in case because it's really a high concentrate of salt. It's mined out of the ground just, just like... You want to get a big bag when you start getting down on some heavy duty operation. And uh, talk to your pool guy and see or the pool supply place and get a good deal there, okay? Because you'll spend a lot of money on this stuff if you go to like Lowell's or Home Depot, you know. But uh, apparently it's mined out of the ground just like that. It's white powdery stuff. You're Peruvian. <laughs> no. Come down to Montana. Okay, so let's get the shirt. Yeah, put it in the spin cycle in the washer. Okay, not too uh, ferociously, you know, but enough to spin out the excess water. That way the dyes will penetrate more in the fabric. The idea of, of soaking the soda ash is that way the dyes will activate, but you also want the dyes to go inside the fabric. If you have more fluids in there, it's going to be harder for the dyes to reach inside the fabric and soak it in better. So when they do the ice dye, it takes a lot of dyes. The dye company loves that stuff because it takes a lot of dyes. Unless you can get the dyes really cheap or you're close by the dye company and you can buy them like all these mix and match stuff, that's really cool. But other than that, I just find it really uh, costly. But it's really pretty work, and it's not really consistent, but it, it's, it's really beautiful. Okay, but ice dye, where they put the ice on top of it, and you have to put extra amounts of dye on top of that ice. See, they use like five or six scoops, it seems like, on one shirt, or maybe three. And that same amount, I can dye five or six shirts, you know what I mean? Um, Anyways, I'm tired I hubble, man. I can find stuff in the trash can and make it work, okay? <laughs> Alright, so the shirt's done spun out now. Okay, you want to get a, a highlight marker. Uh, yellow's cool, you know. So we're going to take it to the drawing board now. Okay, let me get you all over here. Um, if you ever want to check out my website, it's tiedeyehobo.com. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Okay. So, when you get your shirt, you lay it face up. Okay. Okay. Face up. The reason is because you want your design to look cooler on the front, and you have the more you apply the dye on the back of the shirt, and it looks better on the front of the shirt. That's why, okay. So when I tell you to do face up or face down, it means because that way the front of your shirt will look better. That's what you're aiming at because you're the one that sees your shirt the most. Okay, so what we do. Okay, here we go, we can see it now. That's a big sleeve, and there we go. The edge, here we go, okay. So, I'm gonna get my highlight marker, and you ever drawn like eyes? You can do circles, you can get like a plate or some circle, but check it out. I'm gonna do like this eye, like this. Okay, and then a circle in there. Doesn't that be perfect? Because when you fold it, you just want the middle there so you know where the middle is, okay? Now we're gonna do imaginary eyebrow, okay? And now, the smile. Okay? Maybe we can even get teeth in there. Oh, and lips. Okay? So this would be the lips, all right? This would be the teeth. All right, now how are we gonna pull this off? Well, watch this. Okay, well, okay, here we go, I'm sorry. Here's the lips, right here, and there's the teeth. Okay, we're gonna do the best we can. Why no nose? Because we're gonna come in with the paintbrush or a cigarette butt or anything you can get your hands on that will work. And we're gonna make our own nose afterwards. You'll see. Just 
follow the tie-dye hobo and you'll learn a lot of stuff that nobody ever done okay so what we're gonna do now we need to fold the, the eyeball first okay so what I'm gonna do is pinch it like this in half like that right doesn't matter if you match up there as long as one side looks good so that's what you're doing you're just doing one side and it's gonna take care of both sides okay we'll work with the mouth in a minute but we're gonna get the eyeball out of the way first okay it looks like we can work with that it's gonna work fine see that okay so um, okay the eyeball now you do the circle part first okay and see you put your finger in the center here and um, um, okay, you put your finger in the center there and you just kind of like watch this you don't really have to follow that line because right now it's gonna do a true circle just keep your finger now in that center okay we're gonna get like a rubber band yeah we're gonna need rubber band and a highlighter and uh, okay so what we do is pull this in three three times okay that way it's strong and use three fingers if you can my fingers get pretty beat up these days you know so I'm kind of glad I can share all this stuff with you guys and leave the legacy of what God gave me and it's a really beautiful stuff I really think it's cool. I like the Earth and the Sun one, the first original. It's God's first original too. Okay, now right here, check it out. We're gonna push this. It's not gonna be perfect, okay? Because nothing is perfect. Perfection is boring, okay? So don't even try to be perfect. Even Jesus didn't require us to be perfect, okay? Just practice to be good, okay? So here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, to what I want to try to do. I'm just going to squish this right here. See how I got my fingers on four, three points? And I'm just going to push it like that. Okay? That's, and we'll see what how it turns out, okay? So we're going to open up at the end of this video so you can see what's up. See my little, um, my little mascot here? Kaylee, say hi. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> She's holding the pen for me. Okay, now this part right here, we're just gonna let it be, okay? And we're gonna come to the mouth now and open it up back up to where it was, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do, this is just like how I do everything else, crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna follow the line, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> See, now I follow the yellow brick road on one side there. Don't worry about the inside, just do the outside, okay? And then, I'm gonna push this one over here as well. Okay, so now we got, see so now watch this. Again, I'm gonna push this down. See that? See that? And I go like that, right? And uh, <laughs> we'll see what turns out of this, right? Okay, okay, let's see where the teeth are at. Okay, it looks like so far so good, okay? I can see the lips are right here and the teeth are right here. That's pretty cool. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna look like a mouth. And what mouth is perfect? I mean, geez, who can keep hold of their tongue and not be foul anytime, you know? The tongue is the most hardest thing to tame in the whole universe. And the most untamable thing, actually. Okay, so. I, I get myself in trouble with my texting. I, I gotta be careful with that because I really don't think sometimes it's like real, but it is, you know? People are complimenting or people are giving insults. It's whatever you wanna take. I'd rather take the compliments, but I accept the insults as a corrective way of uh, bettering yourself, you know, if it's done with a constructive way. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take our little madness over here to the dining rack. Here we go. Ready for the carpet ride? <laughs> All right. Okay, now what we're going to do... Um, do I got any books? 
I thought I had gloves. Apparently I don't. And what the heck was that, a duck? Alright, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Suggest so you guys wear gloves while doing this and hazmat suit. No, always wash your hands, man. That's, that's a given. Okay? So what we're going to do right now, we're going to do the eyeball first, okay? And then we're going to make it a blue. Turquoise. Okay? See, there's the, there's the uh, retina. Okay? And I don't have to worry about that because that's going to be black. And the black I show you how to mix in a couple of videos. Okay, right here, I'm going to come crawling in with the black stripe right here, okay? See that? Now the tip of it. Alright. Now, the red lips. Let's see if I can pull that off, huh? Okay, and then afterwards I can get the brush and doozle it up, you know? The paintbrush and doozle it up with the dyes. All right, oh yeah, the eye, eyebrow. It's gonna be like Groucho Marx. Okay, now we're gonna do the green. Okay, what I'm gonna do is green on it, like, just like this. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge of that, I'm just gonna let it crawl into that red. Because I'm going to come with black in a minute, you know, or with the brush afterwards and touch it up to where I, I feel like it's cool. And that's up to you if you want to do that. But I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to flood this a little bit so that way it gets a good solid color. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it a little extra exciting. I'm going to make it slime. Slime, man. It'd be bright, man. And you have matching socks, man. I was at uh, Lowell's getting stuff one day, and, uh, and a brother came up to me and goes, Hey, man, where'd you get that outfit, man? I had some matching socks in my lime shirt. And uh, um, I go, Oh, I, I, I made it. And he goes, Oh, that is tight, man. And I thought, Wow, man, that's pretty cool, man. Because normally I get laughed at by the brothers, man. You know what I mean? Because I'm like a slob. Because <laughs> they're pretty clean dudes, you know. Uh, but... I was, I guess, looking pretty tight that night, man. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay, there's the eyebrow. Or eye, yeah, eyebrow. There's the eyelashes like. Okay, now the lips. My lips are sealed. Okay, right here, I came in like this. And the other one was just like that too, okay? And I'll fix it up with uh, the black after. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way to the edge just to let it seep in. But this I'm going to flood pretty good. I'm squeezing a lot in there to make sure it gets through all the way. I would like, I don't mind a little bit of white for a little accent, but I'd like to have a nice solid slime green face. Because it reminds me of the green face gossip pound, uh, gossip, uh, bad word <laughs> yeah gossip's not good man. unless you you know want to say like hey man so-and-so got hurt and see what, how we can help them that's good gossip you know helping okay but if you feed gossip man it'll come and bite you okay so what we do we're gonna let normally let that sit for 24 hours but I'm gonna pop it open in about 10 minutes and we'll let it just sit there and drip a little bit more, right? And to you it'd be like a second. And then I'm gonna flip it on the floor, ceramic floor, and then I'm gonna get my paintbrush and I'm gonna make the lips look really cool and put a nice little little button nose on there. Okay, so I'll be back in a few minutes, you guys. Hang tight. Where are we? Hey, look at that face, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna get my paintbrush. And, 
squeeze a little bit of black dye inside my little cup here. Hey, Paley, how do you like the, the face? Okay, now we're going to take it. Look at that big old unibrow. That's so cool. Okay, now I'm just going to get the, the mama Paley. You going to help me? No, no, that's not food. Uh-oh, she's turning it into art now. Okay, hang on, hang on, baby. Okay, now we gotta give it a nose, right? Okay. Little tiny button here. Isn't that cute? Okay, that looks really cool, man. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see. I guess that's pretty cool, huh? So if you accept the good in one hand, accept the bad in the other, and realize that the bad could be made into good if you just really try hard enough to make it happen, you know? Okay, you guys, thanks. I don't want to be overwinded. But uh, if you want to know when the next video is coming, hit the notification button. And hit the subscribe button. Share those videos as much as you want. Because you'll never, ever see a commercial on my videos. At least while I'm alive. I'm not taking no chump pain, man. You don't have to suffer any of these ads. Okay? Maybe I might throw in my own ads. No way. Really? I could do that? Here's a word from our sponsor. Let me tell you about... Okay? Tie-dye Hobo. He's a clown when he's around. <laughs> it's always a rainbow at Tie-Dye Hobo. So, whenever you come back to the Big Island Hawaii, come on over and check out Tie-Dye Hobo. I appreciate it. Aloha.